But I don't feel like I've put on that much weight this pregnancy, like hips wide and things like that. I still just feel like I did pretty much pre-pregnancy. Hey, Hello. afternoon. You're kind of influenced to grow up really quick and be into, you know, leave the childhood days behind. She's not at that stage yet, which I love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a very interesting, insightful look at uh, the goings on with uh, Chris and Sarah and their various viewpoints of life. But before we do, let's take a little look at what Chris got up to yesterday. He went to the cinema, didn't you know? A bit of mid-afternoon, middle day, Denzel, VIP style. Now, all the while that uh, this absolute moron was uh, loving himself in the camera whilst in a, an empty cinema screen watching Denzel, he uh, apparently forgot to upload a video because, you know, why would he do that? He comes out the cinema and he just says, come up, just come out the cinema and realised our vlog hasn't gone live as planned for some reason. Just wanted to say sorry, we'll sort it as soon as I'm home. Won't be long. And then a little heart, um, hand heart emoji thingy, right? So I just want to say that I call BS on this because if he had scheduled it to go up live at a certain time, right? Occasionally, yes, occasionally I even do that. I make a mistake and I forget to upload it. All right. Sometimes I put it, I schedule a video to go up and somebody comes to me later and says, hey, where's your video? And I look at it and I think, oh, for fuck's sake, I've scheduled it for the wrong day or something like that right you know even the best of us we all do it right so i get it it can happen occasionally um but all i would do in that situation is i would click publish and it will be up right no problems no dramas whatsoever now if chris has done something similar or as long as his video was up on his channel ready to go all he'd have to do is click publish and it would be up. He could even do that from his phone. No problems whatsoever. And it's very, very simple and straightforward. And um, in fact, it would be quicker to do that than to put up a story on Instagram. Yep. It would be that easy. But no, he didn't do that. So um, people were waiting. His fans were waiting all this time and still nothing. So he said he would do it as soon as he got home, you know, and knowing that he was late and everything. So what would he do instead of rushing home to uh, get it sorted for his iFam? No, he would pop into Asda on the way home just to trundle about with his lovely, lovely wife. And how do we know that? It's because the lovely people at Tattle <laughs> gave us this absolute gem. So yeah, this is them in Asda. And uh, don't they look a sight? Seriously. I know a lot of you are looking at Sarah right now. And rightly so. She looks lovely, doesn't she? <laughs> But look at Chris, that's the gangster Chris. Every time you see him upload a video where he's like, you know, eyeing himself in the camera, right? And um, thinks he's so amazing and such a gangster and such a G, top G right there. Look at that, look at that. Just imagine <laughs> that's what he actually looks like. So yeah, I mean, it is funny. I have to say, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into the uh, meat 
of this video and um, see what Sarah has to say because she is an absolute legend. There we go. You go get your trainers on. She was? Baby will be helping carry. Where's your trainers? Go put them on. This morning we're going to play, it's actually afternoon, it's just coming up to afternoon. We're going to Play Avenue, which is a really fun play place that I say Jace absolutely loves, but they all actually really like it. Isla loved it the last time we were there. Um, I've been going through my wardrobe this morning and going through all of my clothes that I kind of like, um, kind of like maternity wear that I won't be able to wear when I give birth. So a lot of my clothes are actually in maternity wear, but I'll definitely be able to still wear them when I've given birth because they'll be great for breastfeeding. But things like this, which is probably one of my most comfortable outfits I own. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas. In fact, I'm not 100% sure they're not. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. They're not pajamas. But um, I can't believe I'm nearly 38 weeks pregnant, babe. Still a little bump date. I don't actually look that pregnant from the front. Actually, in this outfit, I kind of do. I'm gonna go to the side. <laughs> Look at that for a 37 and a half week bump. Yeah, blooming sexy woman. Massive. I'm saying I'm absolutely massive. I don't actually feel, I mean, I do feel as big stomach wise this pregnancy, but I don't know if I feel as big, like I don't know if I've put on, I don't think I've put on quite as much weight with this pregnancy as what I have done in previous pregnancies. I've definitely put on weight, obviously. But I don't feel like I've put on that much weight this pregnancy, like hips wise and things like that. I still just feel like I did pretty much pre-pregnancy. And it's really funny because this pregnancy, people always ask like, has this pregnancy been different? How has it been different from your other pregnancies? Um, and it's actually been quite different this pregnancy. I've had no cravings at all, none, not a single thing I've ha have I craved. I've definitely had moments where I've been like, hmm, that ice tastes good in my drink. Or I really fancy some cucumber. But I've had it, like I've had the cucumber and then that's been it. I've not like craved it again another time. So it's been really weird. There's been no cravings at all. I've not been hungry this pregnancy, <laughs> which sounds crazy because I know the whole eating for two, um, I've definitely felt in all five of my other, preg other pregnancies where I've been like starving and I've like eaten way more than what I usually would do. And if anything, this pregnancy, I've probably eaten less. I really don't feel like I've eaten that much this pregnancy. And Chris keeps saying, this is your last chance to eat for two. And I know that term's used very lightly. You're not actually supposed to eat for two. But uh, it's something that, I don't know, me and Chris used to love like getting really late takeaways on a night time, like curries and eating them in bed. And I don't know, Chris always loved doing things like that. And I've just not been feeling it at all. I'd be like, I'm not hungry, I don't want anything. Anyway, I don't know why I just went on a little bit of a pregnancy update there but there you go there's a few things that are going on right <laughs> I don't know where that rant just came from sometimes I start talking and then I just continue talking about the most random things and then Chris is like do you know how hard it was to edit that clip that you did last night why don't you ever stop talking he shouted at me yesterday he's like how can anybody spend seven minutes talking about a 99p pack of coloring pencils like <laughs> do you know how much of your footage I have to cut out I'm like, yeah, I know. It's probably going to say the same about this. Right, let's get to Play Avenue. Can you have some? It's a package, darling. It's not food. <laughs> Anybody else's... Look, she wants to see now for proof. Anybody else's child hear this? And that's all they need to... Look! Yeah, she's not happy about that fact. Uh... Yeah, Sarah, it's... Um, Sarah, it's uh, more than likely it's because uh, they get gifts and surprises on the daily and that is all they need to know to uh, think that they're getting yet another surprise on the daily. Um, so anyway, don't you just love it when you uh, meet the postman on your way out? I think this is some nursing nighties. Yes it is. My lovely mother-in-law ordered me these. Thank you Jay. Let me see if I can try and get them out. These will be really nice for the hospital. What size? I should get 16. Perfect. And then... Play. 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 I've got to say, Sarah, why is your mother-in-law buying you stuff? from for, for your baby for your clothing why, why is she buying you stuff right because you have a lot a lot of money right you know a lot of money you know judging by these screenshots right here chris is getting this amount daily not just daily but like by the hour pretty much so yeah i don't understand why you're having to rely on your mother-in-law to buy you crap like that right before we go on to the next stage of this video, I'd like to interrupt this 
because Chris has um, has been on Instagram recently and he has said some words which have really, you know, got to me a little bit. So one person said to him, I don't agree with your language when your target audience are all kids. And uh, Chris says this, what makes you think my target audience is kids? For starters, you need to be 13 to have an Instagram account. Any 13 year old is hearing far worse in whatever school they are in right now. Yes, but Chris, it's not your responsibility to, um, you know, give them this life experience which you think that they should have because they're at school, right? It's, you know, you are an influencer. You are an influencer of children. And uh, whether you like it or not, that's what you will always be. So you really, really need to take that into account. Second, this isn't the Ingham Family YouTube channel. But even if it was, that target audience is definitely not kids either. Again, just because this particular account is not the Ingham family account, you are associated with that account, right? You know, because you are the father of a family vlogger, right? This is my personal Instagram account. This is also an an inspirational slash motivational <laughs> message. There's nothing wrong with using a little convincing language when needed sometimes. So the main point in here is that my target audience for the Ingham family is not kids either. So yeah, I agree. Absolutely, Chris, your target audience of your of your YouTube channel is indeed not children. So um, I found a few of your your mates that would definitely appreciate the next segment of your video at Play Avenue. What are you doing, mate? Jay's can't wear the helmet, so I'm wearing it for Oh, Isabel's going for it. They're doing some building. Yes. He's building up the wall. I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got, I've got his truck, guys. Police car. You're gonna go for the police. Let's have a look at your wall you've been building. Mila just went to the loo. Come here, let me sort you out. Are you building a wall with Jace? Yeah. yeah. So cool. Could I have an ice cream, please, Mila? Thank you, darling. Not in mouth, that's right. We don't put it in mouth. Clever girl. We just pretend. Cheers. Mila, this wild camping spot's not good enough. Let's get in the drive to the next one. Good girl, you drive us to the next one. Let's go. Okay. Oh, Jace, you look like a proper policeman now. I, I, I have this. Guys. That suit's so good. I think Daddy might need a checkup. No, Daddy doesn't need a checkup. <laughs> Mila, where have you gone? You need a checkup. Okay, lay down. You need a check up quick. Lay down, Dr. Isla's coming. Okay, Dr. Isla. So first, you're gonna get your. Bong bong. Bong bong. Is your knee okay? Yeah. Is your knee okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're done? Yeah. You're discharging without medical consent? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I need to put your file in. Okay, type on the computer, Mila. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah's definitely feeling in a bit of pregnancy food mood. That's what she's into. Anyway, so we're at a beefy too. We're gonna go front. We're going front early dinner tonight. Oh no, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Baby, your belly's not getting in there, mate. <laughs> that is not getting there. You will. Well, let's see <laughs> if it does. Oh oh oh, sorry. Oh oh oh. What's wrong with that? Oh, you've got like I've a got at least centimeter. Three. Maybe a centimetre of space. Easy. Now, this is very indulgent to be having in, in early afternoon. Did you chase this? Thanks! 
don't normally go for a mixed grill, but it doesn't like a deal at the minute where it's like 30% off main, so the £20 mixed grill becomes 13 £14. £14. Yeah, pounds yeah. So that's, that's a bargain. That's too much of a bargain not to be had. Mama! That's tight! My didn't it go on as tight? <laughs> she wasn't quite finished. Was she not quite finished? So I gave her my plate. She's, she's eating off my plate now. She's eating the egg. She's eating some chips and some peas. Um, and she's loving it. Uh, that was a really nice meal. I'm so glad we did that. I'd have to, I know because I'd have to. You're done now. Because I don't have to cook now when I get home. I can just chill. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Everyone got gammon except Isabel who got a chicken burger. Even Jason Miller it got was a gammon. Well nice, I love gammon. Gammon is so hard. It was a really good gammon as well. Yeah, actually, no, me and Chris got mixed grills, didn't we? Although, although I should have just got the gammon because. Are you really, really full? <laughs> I asked for no steak and double gammon instead. Chris ate my sausages. Mila ate my chicken. So you had gammon either? So I had gammon. <laughs> I'll say before, you haven't been a big foodie this pregnancy at all. No, I was saying that this morning. Oh. I was literally saying that this morning. I was saying that on the vlog, in fact. Oh, yeah. See, That's when you edit it, I was actually saying it on the vlog that I haven't eaten a lot this pregnancy. But, um... We're not going to bother with desserts because everyone's absolutely stuffed. Yeah, I need to leave. I'm done, mate. We're going to go home now. And I actually got some little gingerbread... Um, what's it called? Gingerbread thingy-making kits. You know, you can just decorate the gingerbread men. So go and make those. Uh, decorate them, basically. Let's go. So I've just spent the last hour chilling out <laughs> in bed. <laughs> not actually in bed, but just chilling on the bed. I got a new... Um, a new, what's it called, a pillow? A, I, I, keep, I keep wanting to say breastfeeding pillow. It's not a breast, maternity pillow, pregnancy pillow. So I've just been trying that out. That was my excuse anyway. I'm just gonna try out this pillow and see if it's actually comfortable. <laughs> anyway, is anyone else like, oh my gosh, how early is it? Is it dark outside? It's just coming up to 7 p.m. It's literally pitch black outside right now what is going on there it definitely feels like autumn winter is well and truly on its way i'm just in the baby's room and i'm trying to go i'm trying to like think of things i need for labor because when i was when i packed my hospital bag i was fully prepared for like a natural water birth and now a cesarean's on the cards but not definite so <laughs> I kind of was like, I'm going to unpack my water birth bag because there's things, things in there that I definitely don't need now that I was planning on, like, for example, a top to give birth in the water in. I don't need that in there now because I'm not going to be doing that. I've got like a really big, thick dressing gown in there. It's like a toweling robe type thing, but it's white. And I thought, oh, that'll be great for after I give birth, but kind of not so much if I'm having a cesarean because... It's a big heavy thing. So I got a, a lightweight one. So Granny actually ordered me it, Jane. Like a really thin, it's kind of like this material actually. Like a lightweight one. But then, and I've got that here as well. I need to go and pack that along with the two nighties that arrived. But then I'm thinking, what if I don't get the cesarean? Because the cesarean section is actually booked for like my due date pretty much. And I don't actually know if I'm going to make it to my due date with this baby. I don't know if to just pack more towards a natural delivery or more towards a cesarean. Anyway. We got a few other things out. That's the thing about packing so early, you get to have time to think about other things that you might need. One of those being our Polaroid camera. I suddenly thought, oh my gosh, we should definitely take the Polaroid camera because how cute would that be? So then I went also onto Amazon and I ordered a 20 pack of instant pictures. I also wanted to get some pregnancy pictures on the Polaroid, which is, Probably sounds a little bit random, but I still want to take a few more, but I took these like two days ago. Cute! I <laughs> just stuck them like in the baby's room on the wall. Um, and then Jace was like, I was only going to do this one, but then Jace was like, can I get one with you, Mama? I really want to get one too. So look how cute that is. I'd never ever usually, I'm going to pack one of each. I'd never ever usually pack dummies in hospital bags. But I would love it if this baby girl would take kindly to a dummy <laughs> because Mila didn't at all she's never had a dummy and i would have loved it if she didn't use me as a dummy 
breastfeeding, which she did for almost two years. And I know it's completely normal um, when you breastfeed a baby and they use you not just for food, you know, if they're in pain or they're scared or they just need a comfort or they need a drink or they're tired. There's millions of different reasons babies breastfeed, not just for hunger. But <laughs> I'd love it if they take a dummy so that I could, you know, pass it to dad for like half an hour while I get a nice shower. Um, and I think the reason that Mila didn't take a dummy, maybe, maybe not, but I didn't even introduce a dummy to her until she was like six to eight weeks old because that's why I was told it can interfere with breastfeeding. And then she just would not take one. Jace was the same. He didn't take a dummy at all when he was a baby. And then when he became like a toddler... He decided that he liked, I'm sure he was about eight months old when he decided, oh yeah, I'll have one of those. But I think I'm just going to pack this one. I think this is a nano baby, I think. And then this one, which is what we managed to get Jason. And that's these ones, breast-like tummy tippies. Tomorrow I'm going to pick up, I'm going into town to pick up Isabel's new glasses. And whilst there, I want to also start getting a few bits for Halloween. I'm trying to be a little bit more organised because whilst two weeks away feels like a long time, when you say it like two weeks is only 14 days, it makes me realise that actually that's no time at all. And I want to be fully prepared for Halloween this year. I've said it a few times. I'm going to have a newborn baby. I'm going to be in the early stage of newborn. I might have even had a cesarean section. I'm not going to be out shopping <laughs> looking for Halloween tat in the first couple of weeks of baby baby been here. And I think I might go into town. Well, when I go into town tomorrow with Isabel to get her glasses, I think we might call out and get some Halloween bits. So... This is Jason Miller's baskets. Obviously, I've just thrown everything in there right now. They're not organised. I'll probably stuff them at the bottom with something. So it's not all just down there. But here's what Mila has in hers. Look how cute this dolly is. I got this from TK Maxx. I thought it was adorable. One of you guys told me about this book, which I ordered whilst we were travelling on Amazon. So Mila's got that as well. And there, a few other little things some lollipops see i really don't get this okay this isn't the first time that she's done halloween baskets and things like that right she used to do it for the other kids all the time but i don't get why you would do it i don't get it because um you know it's it's halloween it's you know but also more so putting sweets in the halloween basket because isn't halloween all about getting sweets isn't it that the whole point of it they go out trick-or-treating and they get sweets so why would you give them sweets as part of this basket when you know they're gonna get more on that day that it just blows my mind that that is um sarah's thought process but also just giving them random presents just for the sake of it all the time it's just really weird one of these little scratch things face masks crafty bits for them to do they love coloring those jace has pretty much got the same as me there these were all super cheap like a pound from places like i think that was the works i'd like to get jace like i might actually get all th all th four of them um, a Squishmallow because I've got Mila the soft toy, the soft doll. I might get the rest of them a Squishmallow because I know Aldi do Halloween themed Squishmallows and at, th at first I thought I'll get Jace and Isla one of those and then I suddenly thought I Isabel would actually love the cat one as well, a <laughs> little Halloween cat and Esme would probably enjoy one as well so yeah I'll probably do that. Jace is pretty much similar, he's got a few different things in like stamps and things like that. Isla's at the kind of in-between age where she's obviously 11 so she's a bit older but I feel like Isla's still quite young in the respect that she still loves like crafty things, slime and I'm sure lots of other 11 year olds too but because she doesn't go to like high school I don't feel like she's influenced much to grow up too quickly. Like I know sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes at high school you're kind of influenced to grow up really quick and be into, you know, leave the childhood days behind she's not at that stage yet which i love <laughs> why do you love that your kids are not allowed to progress because going to school going to you know growing up is a natural progression and a natural development in life and that's what happens when you grow up you know you want your kids to grow up to get life experiences to uh, develop as a human being that's what most mothers would like i get that you miss that she's a little girl you know some parents are like that they you know they miss 
their child being a child. But at the end of the day, your job as a parent is to develop them and enable them to live a full and a fulfilling life as they get older. That is uh, what you should have your hopes and dreams set on. But no, no, no. Um, going to school, going to high school is bad because they are influenced badly. You sound like another mother that I uh, remember. Um, one that's in jail at the moment. Ruby Frankie, anybody heard of her? Yeah, she once said that uh, her kids were being influenced badly by TikTok music. Yeah, you sound quite... Um, like that um right now so uh i would rein it in a little bit because we don't want to put you in that on that pedestal now do we on that same level as her <laughs> but i got her this little crafty set i think she'll really enjoy is that really blurry on the camera i don't know why but it looks really blurry anyway that and then i got two packs of these stamps and then i got a pack of these Six. I thought these were really cool actually. These were a pound from the range. These were the range. This was the range. Six placemats that you can colour in. <laughs> and I just thought for a pound, they're really cute, like to put out at breakfast. And then the older three girls, I'm gonna get like a nice candle, maybe like a throw each. I've already got Isla a throw, but that's away somewhere else. I can't get to that right now. Guys, put everything away. Isla's just come back in. She's made me a pregnant. <laughs> That's you so great <laughs> right all over your face, you nutter. That's really cool. Thank you, Isla. You're welcome. Here you go. You can have your Thank you. You're a good one. <laughs> and there we go. There we have it. Another day done. And uh, one step closer to the next Ingham money making machine being born. Until next time, please give this video a massive thumbs up and comment all your thoughts about this down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new and take care and bye bye.